have a building. Yeah. I don't have a place. Now you have a place. Where yeah. is the grace? Um, so everything me, came in the perfect timing. Do you allow polygamy yeah. in your culture? No. Polygamy. No. <laughs> you, you allow it? No. Why? No, it's not. It's not. It's not allowed. Even if you like, are not giving birth, no. No. Even if you don't get children, no. No. Hey, your culture is different. Yeah, we are. If you get married with someone, you can only get married with one person, what? and and it's not allowed by the law. No. Oh, the And law if law. you if you want to get married with someone different, mm. first you need to divorce, mm. and after the divorce. It's it's right under the law. Then you can get married again with someone else, but it's monogamous relationships. But what? ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China, and right now I'm in Villa Medellin here in Nyabuhansi village. And today I have a very very special guest. You'll all love her. You know her. She's very famous. Ladies and gentlemen, I even like was to introduce her. Let me let me let me refresh because I'm super excited for this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the Queen, all the way from Argentina, the country that won the World Cup, the supermodel, super. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for those words. Yeah, wow. Thank yeah, you. Thank yeah. you. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. First of all, uh, thank yeah. you for allowing my, uh, us to be yeah. have a, a time with you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I come from China, yeah. and you come from Argentina. Yeah. So tell me, how is it you being here for the first time in uh -huh. Kenya, in Africa? Is this yeah. first time in Africa? First time in Africa. Yes. Okay. Yes. How is the experience so far? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So far, I've only been here mm -hmm. in. in in the villa, uh -huh. so I don't know a lot uh -huh. about the continent yet, but uh -huh. I'm really looking forward to to travel around. Yeah. yeah. And how is the life here in Nyabuhansi? How is the village life here? It's very nice, very nice, uh -huh. very chill, uh -huh. um, peaceful. Well, we are we were in the middle of a huge party, you yeah. know, but now that it's over, uh -huh. life here is very simple. Uh -huh. It's very nice. Uh -huh. So I really like it. Yeah. How do you compare Africa and? Uh, Argentina, especially Kenya and Argentina. Yeah. yeah how, how, what's the comparison? So, I don't really compare mm -hmm. because every place is unique, mm -hmm. it's very different also. Um, but I do feel that we have some similarities and in terms of the soil mm -hmm. being very, very f fertile. Mm -hmm. um, the weather is very different. You know, in Argentina we have four seasons, mm -hmm. and you can notice every single season yeah. uh, in terms of the weather. Mm -hmm. And here it's like summer. Yeah, all the all year, the, yeah, that and that's that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah. culture also is very different, uh -huh, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what what you are saying actually is so. Uh, uh, I I have experienced the same. Yeah. In China, when I was living, it was just winter, uh -huh. and the, the, it was very very cold. Okay. I've never experienced winter in China, okay. but I experienced a few days, and yeah. it's very extreme. But I love the weather in Africa. I don't uh -huh. know. If you love the weather here in Africa. Yes, yes, I love it because I'm a, I'm a summer person. A summer I person. love hot weather. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I rather I rather be you know in uh, like this you know free <laughs> barefoot yeah. with less clothes uh -huh. rather than just covering myself uh -huh. in a lot of clothes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, it's a little bit. I love the sun, you know. Uh -huh. Uh, the winter it can be hard, you know. Okay. People, is, you're not that that happy, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So, so yeah, I prefer. I love this weather here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Um, when I was arriving in China, yeah. as a black person, yeah. Um, first of all, the plane from Nairobi to Guangzhou, yeah. Uh, that was okay because most of the Chinese were used to seeing black. Yeah. And then I took a second flight from uh, Guangzhou to Kunming. So I had slept, and then there was some turbulence in the in the in the plane. In the plane. So when I woke up, I found uh, the Chinese were looking at me. The people at the back of the seat wanted to see me, and first of all, I felt so very weird at first. Uh -huh. And then when I landed there, they wanted to record me. They wanted to take pictures. They wanted to touch my skin. Yeah. But uh, my friends told me. Um, most of the Chinese, because China is open to the world, yeah. it's their first time they are seeing a foreigner or a black person. Uh -huh. So uh, at first I felt odd, but I got used to it. Yeah. So tell me, what is the experience? Did you get any experience as a white person uh -huh. coming to Africa? Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
I, 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 people call me the Musungu. <laughs> <laughs> the Musungu. All the time, especially uh -huh. the kids. Uh -huh. I can get, especially, you know, when we are in the, maybe we go to Nyamuhanse uh -huh. Center, uh -huh. Migori, or, you know, uh -huh. or maybe we just go dive in the village, uh -huh. you know, yeah. for adventures and the villagers. I guess that sometimes, um, the other day we met a group of kids, they were picking up some sticks, okay. some wood, you know, mm -hmm. and it looks like they were never seen a white, white person or, before, yeah, so yeah. they wanted to touch my skin, yes. they wanted to greet me with a hand, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. it's, it's really nice, they're always like so impressive. Yeah. Every time that I go out mm -hmm. and we are around, mm -hmm. I hear Musunga, 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 <laughs> like they get very excited. Yeah. Yeah. Do they, also, uh, that's the same experience I also got. Yeah. Do they ask to touch your hair? Because you have very unique hair. Yeah, well, now that I'm, I'm having more like an African bread, mm -hmm. you know, it's, mm -hmm. no, mostly my, my hands, you know, they mm -hmm. want to touch my hands. Okay. That's why they, yeah. yeah. Uh, are you used to such an experience or the first time you experienced something? That no, it's actually the first time, the first time, because mm -hmm. I've, I've been traveling, but I've like the same, same skin color, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the first time when, where I'm in a place where everybody has a, a different color, you yeah, know, yeah, than, yeah. than my skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is the biggest culture shock you have received right here? Uh, so the village, the village culture mm -hmm. is, is quite different from mm -hmm. what I'm used to mm -hmm. in many, many different things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, in terms of maybe marriage and kids and mm -hmm. all of these things, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. uh, we behave very, very different. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I guess those things in terms most especially mm -hmm. because I'm Mara's partner yeah so so mm -hmm. they see us as a couple and yeah. they expect things you yeah. know yeah. to happen yeah. mm -hmm. and in if we were in Argentina he wouldn't be having any of this uh, situation oh no like visitors nobody, no party nobody no 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 oh. no I mean mm -hmm. in terms of us being together you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. If he was in Argentina, nobody would be pressuring him oh, okay, to do okay. things. Oh, oh, you should marry her. Mm -hmm. You should things like this, you yeah, know. Yeah. And here I, I'm experiencing these things because it's very strong yeah. in the in, in the culture. So yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, speaking about culture, I follow you two, two days ago. You had posted about uh, you had a blog. And can you watch her out at uh, Roca? Roca Bre Brera Travels. Roca Brera Travels. Yeah. Your content was about, uh, you were shocked that polygamy is real in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. What are you, I know you explained, or maybe you came to know about it. Yeah. How, what do you think about that? Uh, well, it's, it's very different. It's, it's, um, it's not something that I'm used to. Mm -hmm. That is not even allowed in my country. Okay. So. Is, is it illegal? It, is, it doesn't exist. It's oh. not even that it's illegal. Mm -hmm. It can exist maybe in open, in, in, in relationships like boyfriend and girlfriends mm -hmm. that without marriage, okay. you know, without yeah. marriage in between. Mm -hmm. But this, this polygamy works as the woman can mm -hmm. also be with other men, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and the man can be. It's like a free, free relationship, oh, okay. you know, yeah. but it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm polygamy in terms of law, you know, like mm -hmm. you can marry more than one woman, mm -hmm. more than one person. Mm -hmm. That doesn't exist in my culture, mm -hmm. no, it's just monogamy relationship. You can only marry one person. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do, does it have any effects here in Africa now that you've interacted with the people? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I don't, I don't, I don't think that I'm, I'm someone to touch mm -hmm. if it's good mm -hmm. or bad. Mm -hmm. It's just something that mm -hmm. it's, it's not something that I would choose. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And uh, I've been following also. First of all, uh, as I told you before, yeah. when I saw you your music on YouTube and on some social media spaces. Yeah. But uh, then I didn't know you are Marwa's uh -huh. and uh, you are a musician first. Yeah. But uh, right now you do uh, a cocktail of things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Which yeah. one do you like to do most? So, uh, so I like everything because I'm, I feel like I'm multi-talent, you know. I love to do many different things. Mm -hmm. And I also feel like they are very connected. Mm -hmm. Like also, I always knew that music, my music career can be very connected to my travel mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. and, and so I really do. And now that I'm blogging more my life, you mm -hmm. know, because mm -hmm. I, I didn't, I, I wasn't used to do that. Mm -hmm. My content was more music, music. specifically, mm -hmm. and now I'm maybe more blogging my life and mm -hmm. showing who I am, you know, as yeah. a person. Yeah. I'm having a lot of fun, yeah, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. So yeah. which one will you prefer? Will you prefer music? Will you prefer podcast? Will you prefer blogging from now moving forward? 
I will I will stick to every, every all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. not that I will quit something and mm -hmm. I will stop doing something. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. because that's part of me. It's mm -hmm. my life. Yeah. It's what I want to do mm -hmm. in life. So yeah. it's not that I'm quitting something. Mm -hmm. I will just stick. Maybe I'm I'm a little bit paused with my with my podcast, mm -hmm. um, but I I do want to put more energy mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. and. and I'm very soon to start launching. My podcast is in Spanish right now. Oh, not in English. No, but I'm I'm very soon to start posting in in, in English, mm -hmm. English episode. Okay. It was my idea before, you know, but it took me it took me a while to create my podcast, mm -hmm. organize it, everything, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. create every every episode mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I'm very soon to launch the the English episodes and mm -hmm. yes I will stick I will stick to to all of it you yeah, know yeah, yeah. of course I divide my energy sometimes I do I want to do more of something sometimes mm -hmm. I I want to do more of something else yeah, like yeah. Uh, in this moment maybe majority of my energy is mm -hmm. in blogging mm -hmm. and traveling mm -hmm. and I'm also I'm taking a break from from music in terms of singing. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause I was singing almost every day in mm -hmm. Mexico, mm -hmm. and also I needed a break, you know. Yeah. So for now, I'm I'm more uh, into blogging mm -hmm. and uh, traveling, mm -hmm. cause I wanted I wanted also to reactivate my 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 traveler life, mm -hmm. cause I was I was living in the same place place for two years, mm -hmm. and I wanted to go out and start moving again. Yeah. So I will I will be doing that. Yeah. 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 You know, so many people are inspired by you. By your stories so i think the podcast i would love to watch your podcast uh -huh. but the news or maybe does it have subtitles so no so the my my uh, spanish episode i have them just in spanish it's actually the podcast is just an audio you know uh -huh. um so you can find it on spotify uh -huh. and youtube in Morocco data travels uh -huh. uh, that's that's where you find the, the podcast uh -huh. but uh, the english episode will be only podcast, so it's just audio mm -hmm. on Spotify, but mm -hmm. I will do video podcast mm -hmm. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna, if you're driving and mm -hmm. you wanna just hear, you go to Spotify. Mm -hmm. Or if you have, if you're in the phone or the TV mm -hmm. and you wanna also watch me while I'm speaking, yeah. you can go to Roca Vereda Travels, mm -hmm. and the podcast new episode is coming very soon. Yeah. My podcast name is The Sound of My Voice. The Sound of My Voice. Exactly, oh, yes. Awesome. And I talk a lot about different topics, mm -hmm. um, personal stories, you know, my, my, my different stories. I also... Um, I have I have guests sometimes mm -hmm. you know we talk about different topics mm -hmm. like my last episode uh, it was in Spanish but it was amazing with a friend from Mexico we mm -hmm. were talking about finances and the energy of money mm -hmm. um, also um, I always try to bring the idea of the power of the voice mm -hmm. you know I have an episode mm -hmm. uh, which is called the power of words mm -hmm. because words are very very powerful mm -hmm. so in some chance we don't even we're not even aware mm -hmm. you know of what we are saying yeah. when we say something mm -hmm. we are just creating mm -hmm. magic with our words you yeah. know yeah. Uh, you can bless someone mm -hmm. or you can just send them to to not nice places yeah. you know yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. Yeah. so yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I incentivate uh, through my podcast mm -hmm. the idea of also being more connected to our voice, mm -hmm. to speak our truth. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of people that maybe is very shy, you know, to, to express their emotion, mm -hmm. things like this. Mm -hmm. um, meditation, guided meditations mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. And yeah, many ideas that yeah. I will be bringing yeah. uh, step um, by step. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to see that. Now that you're in Africa, in Vila Medellin, yeah. because the pronunciation of F is G, J in So, Spanish. me as an Argentinian, mm -hmm. I will pronounce Vila Medellin. Vila. Vila Medellin. V, v for B. Vila. Vila, yeah. Vila. Vila, mm -hmm. yeah. Vila, well, if uh, Argentinian, Argentinian, I would say Vila Medellin. Vila Medellin. What? Well, uh, <laughs> it's a time Yeah, machine. but for now, Villa Medellin is more than is more than okay. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Double L can sound like a sh, you know. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, will you come back here again? What's your, what's your plan now that you're here? Do you want to be here full time to relocate to Africa, or you want to visit both homes once in a while? 
So Argentina is not my home anymore, mm -hmm. you know, I left Argentina three years ago mm -hmm. and I just go to visit my family mm -hmm. once in a while, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't see myself living in Argentina long term, like okay. I, I said goodbye to Argentina okay, okay. three years ago. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you will relocate yeah, to Africa yeah. fully and travel the world? Yeah, probably yes. Okay. yes. Can you apply yeah. for dual citizenship? Because here in, in, in uh -huh. Kenya we can give you the chance to apply for dual citizenship. Uh -huh. Do you want to be a Kenyan citizen? I'm not even thinking about it, mm -hmm. about it yet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, I guess I just arrived, you know. So, mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's something that maybe I want to do in the future. Yeah. I don't know, because also from January we have free visas. Oh, yeah, yeah sure, sure, so, sure. So that's also very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, in terms, if I if I want uh, the residence, Kenyan residence, mm -hmm. I will see if you, if it's really like uh, something that I need. Mm -hmm. For sure, I will. Mm -hmm. But those things maybe are more like uh, um, like I I tend to do them when I really need it. Okay. You know. Yeah. For now, mm -hmm. my Argentinian passport is really really good mm -hmm. and. and it helps me. I love being an Argentinian. Yeah, yeah, you know, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Argentinian passport gives you access to so many countries. So actually, it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's very powerful. I think I have access to like 120 countries. What? Yes. So that's more than enough. Yes. More than enough. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Is there that one place in Kenya you like to visit? Is in Kenya, mm -hmm. in Kenya, well, I don't know, mm -hmm. in Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, but in Africa, mm -hmm. in general, mm -hmm. it's for sure Egypt. Egypt. It's one of my dreams. Mm -hmm. And I do want to go to Madagascar because I dream about getting to know the Baobao trees. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, also, well, I want to go to Mombasa here in Kenya. Oh, I want to go to Mombasa, yeah, yeah. you know, to the beach areas. Mm -hmm. I love the beach. Okay. So I would like to see that. And I would love to do safari. Safari. Also. Yeah, yeah, probably. I don't know if, if that happens maybe here in mm -hmm. Kenya mm -hmm. or maybe in Tanzania. It mm -hmm. depends where the animals are, you know. I think maybe if you get the wild beast migration, uh -huh. will be the best experience. Yeah, I, I, I heard that is like around August. Yeah, right? August, August. August. Okay. Now, I don't know maybe if you will go just to Masai Mara because it's uh -huh. around this place yes, to yes. experience that safari. Yes. Because most of uh, people from your country, they come to our country yes. for the Masai Mara. For the Mas Masai, yeah, yes. it's very, very famous. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. And yeah. would you wish to come to China someday? Yeah, for sure, for okay, sure. Okay. I don't have a no for any place, okay, you know. Yeah. Every place mm -hmm. I would like to go. Yeah. Every place. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, uh, it's my first time going to China, and I'm loving it. No, they have a very pristine culture. Okay. And uh, in terms of vlogging, China is unexplored. Okay. Yeah. So if you come to China, it will be amazing. All right. Yeah, all and right. I would like to meet yeah, you yeah. In, in China. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Mara hasn't been in China yet. And uh, yeah. he, he, the last time he came to China, he was, it was a bad experience. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he ended up being deported. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what happened then. Yeah. He just arrived in Hong Kong and he was deported. Okay, yes. Maybe yes, next time yeah. things will be better. Yeah, yeah right. because I know the Chinese are a bit sensitive. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, we sorry that that happened. But okay. in the future, I'm sure he'll come to amazing places. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, all what right. do you say to my fans? <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, everybody, you it was a pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm. uh, you can follow my journey also in Roca Brera Travels mm -hmm. or Roca Brera Music. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where you can hear me singing. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for hosting me You're on your welcome. channel. It was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And I hope to see you soon. See. Okay, before you go, can you say yeah. this is Anoto in China? This is Anoto in China. Hey. In Kenya. In Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Now let me tell you how to say it in Chinese. Yeah. And then we will we'll say it in Spanish. Okay. So in, in, in Chinese is Jagashi Anoto Zai Jongo. Oh, that was not. Okay, we say it slowly. Yeah. Say Jagashi. Jagashi. Anoto. Anoto. Zai. Zai. Jongo. Jongo. Yeah, so that, is, that means this is Anoto in China. Okay. How about in Spanish? Esto es Anoto en China. Esto es Anoto in China. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. We are now able to rest a little after the party. Yes. And yeah, we are very grateful. Also, we are tired. I'm personally tired. 
He still needs to rest. Yeah, but you guys, you for example, you've been here now for a month. What What's your opinion in Africa? In Africa, or we'll do a special video about that. I will do a special video about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do you feel this is your place, or do you feel like ah, it's a strange culture? As people are drinking from something like this. <laughs> you know? Uh, I feel like I still need more time okay. because I've been in the middle of a party, a very unique event, a lot of people, okay. and I haven't seen a lot of Africa yet, you know. Okay. So, but I want to be with you, that's for sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, mom, uh, in their culture, mm -hmm. you have to hold hands in public. To show that you love her or to show like you are with her. Yes. Mm -hmm. But in Africa we don't do that. Yes. People will be like, hey, mm -hmm. now it's really conflicting because sometimes she thinks I am not <laughs> I don't love her. No, it's not that I don't I I think that you don't love me, but I'm very used that we show affection yeah. everywhere. In okay. our privacy and even in public, it's okay to show it because it's if if you hold my hand in public, you are telling the world that I'm your woman, you know? Okay. And from our side, if you don't do that, I can get offended. Like, I was feeling offended the first day, <laughs> to be honest. I didn't know why he would be so shy. And I was like, what's going on? And then he told me. So and I then I to told record. him also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's very, it's very normal for us. To show, it's not that we are kissing or doing things that we, you should do inside of a room, right? But at least uh, hugging, holding hands, holding hands especially, you know? Woman and man, when you are a couple, you hold hands. Oh, yes, yes. Guys, for those who are in my YouTube channel, I'm trying to, I was telling my mom, yeah. Rocio wants me to hold her hand because in their culture, that's a way of showing affection or love. In public, like outside walking, yeah. she was getting really offended that I was not doing that. Like the first day, now I'm explaining that to my mom. If my mom would understand, <laughs> mom, what do you think? Holding hands in public or no? No, it's not allowed. Most in, in Africa here, yeah. uh -huh. you see people who are not brought in such a way, they yeah. are not brought, they didn't bring up their children that way. Mm -hmm. So when they see people holding hands, they tend to ask, what's wrong? Uh -huh. Oh, this one comes from the other nation, mm -hmm. that's why she's holding uh -huh. hands. But what do you think about me and Marwa holding hands? Because it's part of my culture and I also want to, I want to celebrate that. What do you think about that? <laughs> in public. Yes. In public, <laughs> yeah. Remember in public, people, people not like it. But I like it. <laughs> I like it and for me it's very important. Yeah, it's culture shock. It's here. Very hard. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. But for me, you know, for me... Privacy. Uh-huh. No, but holding hands, there's nothing wrong about holding hands. It's just holding a hand. Mm. You hold hands here to say hello, hello, you touch the hands of the When you're walking people. or when you're in the room. When you're in the room, there's no problem, but outside. But when you are in the room, you go to another level of intimacy. <laughs> outside, holding hands is more than okay. And actually, for me, that's a, that's a must. It's very important because if he doesn't show me affection, I will feel... Uh, like neglected, he neglected okay. and I will leave. <laughs> you will leave, hey. guys. You've not reached there. <laughs> yes. So I, I think it's important that if you want to be with a woman from a different culture, you need to also <laughs> adapt some things from my culture because I am here adapting a lot of things from your culture. What do you think? Like this one. <laughs> my mama help. Like, like it sounds like some of things of from my culture. Yeah, I'm explaining to my mom like you have to hold. Uh, you know, holding, you see. Yeah. Uh, here you hold a small baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who, who does not know the way? Uh -huh. But grown-ups, 
here in Kenya, you yeah. work tough, you work tough, tough, tough. Yeah. But it's for affection. No, but it's for affection. A it's couple okay. that is in love, yes. you hold okay. hands, you touch each other, you, you, you uh, take care. It's nurturing. That's, oh, that's how you nurturing. nurture the love. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. If you don't touch each other, it doesn't look like you are a, a couple. But and they I, don't look like are a couple, they don't look like a, they are in love. You think they love each other, they don't look like they love each other, you know? Wow. That's why it's so important for us to, to show. If, because if you don't touch each other in public, it's like you're hiding. Yeah. So what, why are you hiding? <laughs> because you don't want people to show that, you know? That's, our, that's the way that we see it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. You see, like, like now, uh -huh. uh, well, in fact, uh, yeah, in Africa, have yeah. you ever seen anybody even yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. talk? That's the question. Even, that's, the, that's the question. Are you seeing, are you seeing the, like the press? Uh, uh, have you ever seen them holding, holding their wives? Hands. No, no and, they don't. No, and it's, it's for don't. me, I don't like it because it, it doesn't look like they don't love each other. Or they don't. Or, or in this place. Do or you they see, have to see any people, apart from hands. at night, maybe. Yeah. At night, people hold hold. But during the day, like, but oh, no. It means that we, people here are busy. Uh huh. They don't have time. No, it's not like no, that. No, but they hide. They hide. It looks like they hide. Why are they hiding? If they <laughs> are like the official partners, you know. When if mm, this is so this that official, one, it, yeah. that, one, that one is strict situation. But if yeah. you marry, if you marry, marry officially. Yeah. And uh, you are obtained by marriage, then you hold your hands. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> oh, that's, that's a tricky situation. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's a tricky situation. My, my mom comes to the condition. <laughs> I'm repeat one more time. Yes, I'm saying if you yeah. you wait with Marwa, uh -huh. then everybody accepts you and the whole the entire community. Then you will hold hands. Uh -huh. Yes, for fun. Mm. Yes. 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 Okay, okay. Me, I'm flowing, guys. The way it's coming. I don't know. I need to receive a proposal. I haven't received any proposals. So. Don't say like that. <laughs> Just make yourself comfortable. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and in my culture also, we don't get married so fast. How it's long, in, it's, how it's long that, that you take? Because it's, age, it's not age, a time. Age, like now, yeah. Marwa needs to get married because age is uh -huh. pushing him. But he's not going to die tomorrow. He still, he still have a long life to live. You see, yeah. you see, here in Africa, uh -huh. you have to go with age. Yeah. When you delay getting children yeah. and getting married, yeah. you will, will regret it later. You uh -huh. wasted your time when you were young. Yeah. You want to bring up your children when you are working with a stick. Yeah. That one cannot ogre uh -huh. So you need and to... And what happened here, for example, uh, you need to be married first and then children, or a children can come either, before? Either way. It's... You can, you people, can actually... Most judge, of the time yeah. is to get married and have children. Yes. yes. But sometimes people get children before getting married. Uh -huh. Then marry even later. Uh -huh. So I've seen, I've seen some couples that maybe because of... Congress mom is falling asleep. <laughs> Not really. No, you see. Why do you want first a, a children or marriage? Either, but uh, it's good. For me, I prefer children. Uh huh. Children first. Because yeah. marriage is just a day or two, but children is just. They are there yeah, so yeah. that you bring them up when you are still strong. Uh huh. When you wait up to the late age, you re regret. Mm hmm. Yes. So you see, it depends how old are you. Yeah. Like Mara, you told me when you'd be thirty. Free? Mama. Now you'll be getting married. Oh, mama. Don't yeah. give her pressure. <laughs> yes, I must give pressure because of years. Time is going. Oh, mama. No. It, it will happen the right time. How about you? Time. I feel like God has his own timing for everything. And time is divine. When, you know, age, and we, age, age, we, age, say, age. we say, we say, I also have my own age, you know? For, for the moment where I want to have children, for the moment where I want to become a mom also. Yes. But, but also in my culture, for example me, I have a lot of dreams that I want to reach before becoming a mom. Because for me, becoming a mom changed my entire life. It changed my body, it changed the, my responsibilities, and, and I also have a lot of things that I want to do before taking care of someone 
the way that I want to take care of my children and also the way that I want to raise my children and and many many things so that's also for me my own timing is important yeah <laughs> yes yeah. she has explained yeah. now to see you uh -huh. uh, it's important that uh, you you have told me mm -hmm. about your responsibility yeah. about uh, uh, what you want to accomplish your dreams yeah. to meet your dreams before you take care of your family yeah now uh, with us here in africa mm -hmm. when somebody reaches if you are a girl and you yeah. reach a thirty, yeah, uh, thirty downwards uh, below, yeah. then you are at a good age. But uh, above thirty, yeah. people start now for forgetting about your marriage. Uh -huh. That's true. They uh -huh. start now forgetting that you don't even have children. They start now forgetting you, uh -huh. the lineage of family. Uh -huh. So family with us here starts from eighteen up to. 30, mm -hmm. yes, downwards, Okay. below. Mm -hmm. From 30 and above, you are late. Uh -huh. uh, because imagine you are 30, then uh, you get married. Maybe you get married when you are 35. Yeah. Now, at 20 years, Sasa, then you, are, you see, when your child now will be 20, how uh -huh. old will you be? 55. Yeah. 55. Uh -huh. Sasa, that's the latest person who got married yeah. late. Yeah. But if you go to 45, you go to 50, then you, you cannot give birth. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm the youngest of six, and my mom had me when she was 44 years old. 45? 44. 44. Okay, 44. Yes. Ah, she had six, six kids. The first one, she was 22 years old. And the last one, she was 22 years older. Hey, yeah. you see people are different. Yeah. Uh, people are different and the type of food also affects yes. lineage. So it yes. is different. Yeah. So here in Africa we are saying that the girl should get married when you are eighteen up to thirty mm -hmm. final. Then when you, you are a man, thirty five musho. Mm -hmm. so musho is end. End. Yeah. Man, man is 35. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. so when you, when I, I you go beyond have, that, then you are lost. I still have. To, then you are lost. Totally yes. <laughs> <laughs> lost. Totally lost. 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 Yes. Guys, I still, at least I have two more years before I get lost. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't want to get lost. No, I'm not getting lost, man. Now you must get a, a children as early as possible. Okay. <laughs> yes, now you know you are telling mom, mom, yeah. I don't have a baby. Yeah. I don't have a place. Now you have a place. Where yeah. is the place? Um, so everything place. came in the perfect timing. Do you allow polygamy yeah. in your culture? No. Polygamy? No. <laughs> you, you allow it? No. Why? No, it's not, it's not, it's not allowed. You can live in Link. your you are not giving birth? No. No. Even if you don't get children, no. No. Hey, your culture is this point. Yeah, we are. If you get married with someone, you can only get married with one person, huh? and and it's not allowed by the law. No. Oh, the law. And if you if you wanna get married with someone different, mm. first you need to divorce, mm. and after the divorce, mm. it's it's right under the law. Then you can get married again with someone else, but it's monogamous relationships. But what about Energy. people who have relationships that they are not public? But that, but that is no. But when it comes to a secret mm -hmm. relationship with someone else, that is cheating. That is cheating. Oh. If if the if both parts are not uh, doesn't know about oh. that there is someone else, you know, that is a third party, that is cheating. The, now now. There is some relationships, some couples that they accept uh, open relationships yeah, and but they date in some polygamy, like dating polygamy. some oh, yeah but but polygamy here is not it's just the men allowing to be, have more than wife. It's not the woman being able to have more than one man. It's just no, the men. It's just the men. it's just a benefit for the men here. You know it's it's men who determines uh, children. Okay. Their children the man has to determine that. That's why uh -huh. can, this cannot get children with his wife. Uh -huh. Gets another woman, then gets children. Uh -huh. Marriage is for... Uh, for Continuity. <laughs> Companionship. 
uh -huh. to have offspring. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you go for marriage, not for leisure. No, and not in for us we, we get married because of love. Yes. If you love, love. if you for love. Oh, if you're more. in love, yes. Yes. No. Hey guys, my battery uh, got too hot and my camera shut down. But hey that was a tough conversation, huh? Eh? It continued, but it's not gonna be on my video. Marwa was able to record the rest. <laughs> but I think those conversations are very important in terms of uh, cultural shocks, right? I wanna leave my shoes here because I, I need to walk barefoot. All right, guys, I'm like <laughs> conversation, tough conversation, but I think it's very important also to share those things because when we come from different cultures, we grow with, with different normal, you know? And my normal is not their normal. And, and what is normal of uh, for people here it's a big big shock for me actually i want to come show you this tree because i love it and what is normal for me is completely different things that here are normal in my society we don't allow it we don't we don't even think about it that's like a crazy crazy thing guys i love this tree so much it's very beautiful I love that he's like very big in here, you know. Um, but yeah, what it's for, for me, um, I've been receiving many questions since I came here about these topics and all of these things. But for me, that's not normal. And I just can't change my mind from one day to another just because I'm in a different culture. And also and when you go somewhere new with a different 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 culture um the fact that i'm here doesn't mean that i i will just forget everything i will unlearn everything that is actually in my subconscious mind because i've been learning these things as normal since i was born it doesn't mean that i will change from one day to another and be someone different that accepts everything as normal because for to believe that something is normal you must see it regularly in your life polygamy for me is not normal it's not even allowed by the law in my country in my country you can't have multiple wives you know uh, so that's not even, it's not that it's even like, it's not normal, it's like crazy. Because I was born and I've been raised in a society where you want one partner for the rest of your life. Like pigeons. Pigeons, they choose one partner for their entire life. And that's it, you know? <laughs> so that's the normal thing for me and and yeah but it's nice to have these conversations it's also nice to understand the whys why people um have these concepts in the way that they build their family i can see that african culture is very very strict i think i haven't been in a culture that is as strict as africans in terms of creating and building family i now i can understand more the reasons they have they have reasons it's not just because they decide things they they purely have reasons and we don't have those reasons in where i come from uh i think also we we flow in a different in a different way but it's nice to learn that's the, this is the magic about traveling and getting to know 
different cultures, getting to know different places. Um, I mean, I'm in a place where everything is absolutely new for me because there, there's a very minimum percent of the things that I am living now, the way that I'm living now, that are similar to what I'm used to, you know? So, and if I'm here it's because I'm also, I'm choosing to be here, but I also, I come with a mindset already that I've, of course I don't I don't have the pressure I'm not here and it's because I'm here I must change right because nobody is pressuring me Mara has chosen me for who I am understanding my backgrounds understanding that I have different beliefs also and he likes that otherwise otherwise he would have chosen an African woman from the village that can follow all of these rules, but he likes different also. He is different and he needs different. So, but I guess we are both learning because of course I come with, with um, I forgot the word right now, but I, I also I come with conditions, you know? Uh, and if I also, <laughs> this is the funny part, you know, uh, he knows everything, of course, we, we, we talk about these things already, but we are still learning in the process, you know, some things you cannot just, just know, you need to live it, to, li to understand it, to process, and also processing takes time you know it's not nothing just happened from one day to another and and yeah <laughs> but it was really nice to have that conversation also good for me to be able to open myself in what is it that I want because I also choose I also have power of decision I also uh, I also have my my own desires in the way that I want to build my life, build my relationship, build my future family. I also come with conditions. I also have beliefs that are important for me and that I want to follow. So, but I love new also. I love getting to understand why people Think different than me you know because when I get to see these things I understand you know because there's so many things about my own culture that I don't I don't feel like it's okay and I would like to see different so God listened to me and he brought me to a very very different I know I'm here because of a reason you know for me everything has a purpose everything has a reason and and I'm, I'm i'm very hard opened to, and willing to learn and take what i need and the rest i i can leave it that's the way that you that's the way that uh, a, a nice way to live life and yeah i can see the boys the boys having what are you preparing guys here African food. Guys, every day I am learning more and more and more about African culture. Hello, Mawira, how are you? I am fine. You're good? Yeah, today I'm Hello. a special chef. You are the chef today? No, we are the chefs. You are the chef, are all of you together. Yes. Okay, that's nice. What are you doing? We are cooking a bed. We are cooking a meal. It's a, you know, in Kenya we have some com different communities in Kenya. Yeah. And one of the biggest community here in Kenya is called Kikuyu. Kikuyu, yeah. yes. Okay, I come from uh, I'm come from a male community, but I'm more into Kikuyu for culture. Okay, I heard that in Kikuyu, my name means tomorrow. Uh, 
yeah, like, Roshio. Roshio. Roshio means Roshio. tomorrow. <laughs> it means tomorrow. It means tomorrow. Yeah. So I've been. I came here in the morning just to say yeah. hi to you guys, but uh, I just found myself cooking now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I. I and it's it. almost like what time is it? Like four, so, four, almost, almost uh, five. <laughs> Guys, it is 5:10. 5:10, all right. Yeah. So, yeah. I, uh, what are you I, I found some maize inside your kitchen. Yeah. And then I saw that the leaves were drying up, so I knew yeah. that these maize were not gonna be good. Then we were with the lady who is the, ma the maize. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. So I, I dressed them. Uh, yeah. Together with a uh, Marwa painter, we dressed uh -huh. them. And then uh, the lady who is helping in cleaning. Yes. She had put some beans on. That's how the meal came about to be. So uh -huh. here we are having some. Uh, okay. You can come close and show them. That's uh, beans, beans and, and maize. And maize. And then down there we have some potato, Irish potatoes. Okay. With pumpkin leaves. Okay. Then uh, I have covered them with githeri. We call it githeri. Uh huh. Uh, so the the thing that is gonna fall up is just after they are ready. Yeah. I mash them. Yeah. And then after I mash them, it's gonna the food is gonna be turn color. It's gonna be somehow green. Okay. And then after that. I'm gonna now fry it. Oh wow! It's gonna be delicious. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be able to try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna love it. Gonna okay. Love it. Yeah. So How like... is this called? Yeah. It has a name. What this one. The yeah, the food, the meal that you're doing. The meal is called the mukimo. Mukimo. Or mataha. Mataha. In Kikuyu. Okay. And now we are using the African pot. Yes. The advantage of cooking with this pot, yes. uh, one of one of it, uh, the minimum is uh, when you're cooking and in case I happen to go and then this yeah. fire is not gonna be up. Yeah. This one is is, is gonna retain the heat. The, is gonna retain the heat. Yes. And then another thing, this one also, also helps in retaining the taste of the food. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the main main purpose of it. And then that's it good. cooks also fast. It cooks fast. The food just cooks here. Yeah at good pace yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's in it's a slow cook or it's fast it's a slow cook but very efficient okay yeah yeah so that's the advantage of cooking with this one and um i hope like you're gonna love the food man uh -huh. uh, the, i just wish you can get some avocado from somewhere oh, okay this food goes well with uh, an accompaniment of uh, uh, avocado. An avocado yeah yeah i wish like you can get one oh, okay uh, maybe, maybe you can make even a guacamole with it man uh -huh. something else <laughs> so guys yeah. in case you're watching this video my amazing name is only mawera the clay boy but now you know the career can shift at any time mm -hmm. i'm a man of very many talent and uh right now i'm cooking yeah check me out on youtube as only mawera m-a-w-i-r-a and i have my amazing team here which is supporting yes me. are you single mawera i'm very much single girl. you're very single are you single guys um, <laughs> yeah very much very much yes, because yeah. you know what we were having a conversation yeah. with Marwa yeah. and congress mom yeah about polygamy right because here it's very normal for you right exactly you do you have the desire of having many wives no no no. for me i just feel like uh, one wife is gonna be enough for me uh -huh. because uh, i want uh, my kids to have the best life yeah i don't my i don't want to have a divided attention Oh. I just want to give it to my kids and my wife. And nice. I want to be a present dad. I am Team Nawira. <laughs> I am Team Nawira. <laughs> yes. What right. about you guys? At first, I'm the grandfather of the guest boy. <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, actually, even to me, I like. I don't like polygamy. Okay. I like a single one. Okay. It becomes very easy to sustain and feed, okay. you know. Okay, yeah. And uh, that's very, very good. Uh -huh. Yes, I go by the name Pablo Jr. And uh -huh. the junior is JNR on YouTube. Uh -huh. Right now, the Gazebo, we shall continue the progress of it, I hope. Okay, All right. okay. Doctor? Yeah, uh, what's up, guys? This is Why Not Kibe, the doctor around. And yeah. um, me too, I, I don't really, uh, I'm not really into polygamy. Wow, guys, I'm so impressed because I, I wasn't expecting this from. I was just expecting, yes, I want five, I want six, I want ten, <laughs> you know? And wow, I'm happy now. <laughs> you know, polygamy is this, it was a thing of the past, okay. maybe because they thought, I don't know why, but it was a thing of the past. Uh -huh. But right now, it's good to concentrate on your family. And yeah. having a family, it's good to have just one family so yeah. that you can concentrate on your family and focus on that family. Okay. So even the economy cannot allow you to have more than two wives right now, uh -huh. more than one wife, uh -huh. because it's quite, the economy is quite harsh right now. Uh -huh. okay. So for me, I really prefer one. Yes. So that's, uh, and in case, for example, because you know, in my culture, yeah. polygamy is not allowed, like legally, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's some, like, 
couples that they, they decide to have a, a open relationship and date many people. But this polygamy is also allowed for the woman, for the woman to date other men. You know, it's oh. not like yeah, that's polygamy for, for right. us. All like right. poly it's from both sides. So they can date more people, but it, um, in terms of law yeah. and marriage. You can you can marry just one person. If you want to marry someone else, you have to divorce first, and then you can get married once again. Sure. But it's not allowed. So for me, it's not normal. It's not normal at all. For me, it's like crazy. You're right. And also, I grew up with this desire of having a man that wants to be only with me. You know, yeah. like I want to sleep with my man yeah. every single day. I don't want to share my man. You yeah. know, that's <laughs> a. It's, it's like. I'm trying to understand their <laughs> point of view and, and now I'm learning the whys yeah. behind. Yeah. But for me, I, I already told Mara that one of my, my, <laughs> my, yeah, rules. my rules yeah. is it's only me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, the one is it's easy to focus on one person. Exactly. And, yeah. Because the divided attention will now bring a lot of issues. Yeah. Conflicts, and, uh, you know. Conflicts. Yeah. Conflicts. Yeah. And and the conflicts. Good, the good wife and the other way. Yes. You know, like, because Congre Moms was saying that uh, there are there are relationships with many wives and they all live together very well. They don't fight, and I can believe that. Yeah, probably that happened. Actually, there are some people that there are some communities which which it works. Yeah. And uh, actually, I can give an example. There's a guy here in Tanzania. He has three wives. Uh -huh. Three wives, and uh, they live happily. Uh -huh. but, yeah, only, I, but I guess for now, I guess everything is changing. You know, the world is changing. There's yeah. a guy in Western who has 26 wives. Ah. Even wow. at the village, and more than 100 kids. Exactly. Wow. And here at the village, people are polygamy. You know, yeah. this polygamy traditionally was like for prestigious reasons. You know, yeah. and richness. Like when you have yeah. many children, you yeah. are regarded as rich. Yeah. But right now, uh -huh. ah, no, no, no. Yeah, but you know, also the problems <laughs> I, I've, I have found yeah. in this is like, for example, grand. Uh, the I am Marwa's grandfather. grandfather. He yeah. has like 100 uh, grandchildren. <laughs> and I believe that even if I believe that these these kids yeah. they have no idea who is his grandfather. Yeah. Oh, how you how can you remember 100 names? You, you know, your brothers, you, you know your brothers. brothers. It becomes very difficult. <laughs> you can even marry them. By <laughs> For example, I'm gonna I tell you one happened, thing. Right? I will tell you, I will tell you yeah. one case that happened to me. Yeah. When I was getting in Form 1, like Form 1 here is when after you now go to the high school. Yeah. I was in Form 1 then, I, I happened to go to a certain high school. And then during the games, because you have to have inter-schools inter games, I met one lady, she was very beautiful, and I approached her. Uh -huh. And then after we exchanged the contact, then when we went home for the holiday, I was like, can we link up? She told me where, where I'm going to get her. Shockingly, when I, when I went to meet her, it was my grandfather and my grandmother's place. And I was uh -huh. like, what are you doing here? She said, this is my grandmother. I swear, I swear to God. Oh my <laughs> God. A, I swear, to, even I can call her right now. Her name is Tuahira. I was like, who, like you are my relative, you are my, we are relatives, and I was shocked, to be honest. <laughs> so you can even find yourself marrying your own relative. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the disadvantage yeah. of po being polygamous. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. And you know, during the past, the, 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 the male or rather the man of the house, they usually have this power that yes. they can control their Male chauvinism. Yeah. So you can't even complain that, no, don't hurt another. So the, the yes. man who just come and they with another wife, he said, this, okay, yeah. this is your partner. You yes. have a partner, yeah, you have nothing yes. to say. And wow. The male chauvinism, wow. like it was totally... Now, in this case, Marwa told me when we had these conversations, right? Yeah. Marwa told me that it would be only if I allow. He, yeah. That he can have another another yeah. woman yeah. only if allowed. I allow. Yeah. But for me, it's a no already. It's a no. Bang! Put a big padlock. Put a big eggs. Big eggs, man. Yeah, yeah. And also, you know, also because in in my culture, yeah. also when you are with someone, it's first because you fall in love with that person. Yeah, that's true, that's Do you think that also? You can fall in love with two people at the same time and love them at the same at the same level. No, I think if you if you love someone, you love that one particular person. But now, uh -huh. if you love another person, to mean the love of the other one has disappeared. You now love the new person. That's so. that's also my like my exactly. part of the my degree belief. of love. The degree of love. You don't, you yeah. You don't like this other one. You want yeah. another one. Exactly. So you find yeah. someone more beautiful than exactly. the other. Yeah. 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 So and also changes. for me, this thing about sleeping together, for example, if yeah. I decide that I have a, I want to have my husband, yeah. I don't want to find myself one a few days in the week where I'm sleeping alone. Yeah. 
No, that's see, I find it so sad. Yeah, it means like sleeping for me is a big case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, because you know when you sleep with someone is is your partner. You know that it, it's a very important thing. Yeah. The one, the person that you share your bed with. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and in terms of yeah, just imagine myself. Oh, today I sleep alone because my man is. Having yeah, sex with another woman. <laughs> it no? becomes very weird. <laughs> it becomes very weird. <laughs> I can suggest for you, uh, yeah. Rocio, uh, maybe you can tell him to take you around the village. There are some places where you're gonna, when you get to the, to the homestead, you're gonna see the house. You're gonna be told this is my house for my first life, second life. Maybe they live the same. The courier yeah. setup yeah. at the yeah. village. The courier yeah. setup. You should look for that content. Uh -huh. You can have a very good picture of how it looks like. Now you can exactly. have a picture. Now you can imagine. Yeah. Today he's in that house. Yes. Uh -huh. The bed of that house is shaking. Uh -huh. And I'm here in the cold alone. <laughs> Sometimes even exactly. they, 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 they have time. They have yeah. like time. timetable. Wow. Time from 7 to 9 in the first hour. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. If I'm learning something about the African culture, it's your very structure yeah. It, yeah. in things should be done this, like yeah. this, and yeah. like yeah. this. The protocol. Yeah. 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 Have to be but followed. the world is changing. The world yeah. is changing. So that's it. Right yeah. now, you cannot. it's really very rare to find polygamy or such things because people are changing their mentality. Yeah. Learning, no, at the village there is polygamy. I'm, I'm the, I'm the neighbor here. I yes. know that there, are, it's poly, people are polygamy, but they but have two wives. Father and a great, uh -huh. great, grand, great no, grandfather. No, no, even a young guy. Exactly, even oh, the people wow. who are guy. At, yeah, young exactly. Guy more than one wife. And people are even at Mara Sage. Yeah. You may find them, they have two wives. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe you can take a with that person, then they talk, they but explain how they But it's very live. hard, they can never <laughs> come there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to convince those people, it's very hard. Like, uh -huh. You find those yeah. are really traditional, they're still yes. based their mentality on exactly. traditional yes. beliefs. And uh -huh. so, which, yeah. that, you're out of that. Yeah, in 2020, me, but it's oh. not bad. Polygamous is not bad. As for me, I believe, eh? yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, there's a saying in a, in, a, in a Swahili that says, Kwena kwingi kwona mengi, which means going many places, it helps you see a lot a of lot. stuff. Uh -huh. And uh, as for me, I can say like if you haven't, if you have been traveling around the world, at least you have seen, you have seen a lot, a lot of stuff. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, learn and adapt to them. You know, the world yeah. is changing right now. Yeah. We are not in the past. Yeah. So as for me, I believe in one, uh, one way. And that is it. Do you but feel the smoke? Uh, yeah, yes. That's coming. now. <laughs> being, that's now African. Yeah. Africa. You yeah. must yeah. not feel yeah. the smoke. <laughs> yes, that's not. You must be kitchen, smelling smoke. The the <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Where there is smoke, the yeah. food yeah. must be there. Must be there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know, it's yeah. very funny at the African place. Like when I was very young, yeah. when I could see just smoke at the neighbor's place, yeah. I know that now it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. Our children could gather. Time to eat. That's actually nice. Yes, it's so nice. Food is so nice. Okay, guys, I'm very impressed. I'm very in a positive in a positive way because yeah. because okay that's that's at least for me it's yeah. nice to see yeah. that uh, things are changed yeah, yeah it's, it's not very very um, uh, close-minded you know a yeah. uh, thing yeah. I can see that young people is also is thinking different yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't say that it's bad, right? It's, bad. it's just, it's, it's just, it's not normal for me, yeah. and it's not what I, it's not what I want. Yeah. That's it's for sure. It's not fair to the, to the, to the woman of the house. It's not fair to the lady. It's yeah. not fair to the lady. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the man might feel I think, pride. I think, I think, yeah, that, exactly. Yes, that's what like I tell. It brings yeah. prestigious. It could be prestigious. Yeah. Yeah. For prestige reasons. Yeah, it's, 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 it's oppressing also oppressing the female. That's yeah. the way of oppressing the females yeah. because you say you can't say anything. I'm the one who decides what to do. And wow. I guess, and I guess that it's good. Like when you're dating someone wow. you tell them you be honest with them tell them openly your yes. heart how you feel yeah so that you, when you're making the final decision are you ready for this person yeah. i can know like yeah, yeah. It, it, it comes yes, very easy it comes very yeah easy. yeah exactly. so 